Hi everybody, this is Pramita here and uh, today this is going to be a different kind of video because uh, I'm going to create a, a journal for myself and um, uh, I want to make it a little bit different. It's going to be a lot of um, collage elements going into this journal. Also, there's going to be an equal balance of writing space. So uh, let's begin this process. My workspace is again a mess and I did clear it up, but then again, it got a little bit messy. So that's okay. Uh, it is going to get messy and then I'm going to clean it up. It's just a ongoing cycle of things, you know. So uh, right now what I have is uh, some papers, as you can see. I I don't know how many pages are there, probably uh 10 pages and there are also some irregular sized pages which can be turned into pockets um belly bands and you know whatnot so this is going to be an ongoing update on my personal journal this is in the standard size traveler's notebook and i have tried to repurpose as many things as possible like these pages were just lying around um, sort of creamish in color a little bit on the thicker side um, because I don't like ghosting on my paper <laughs> and uh, when I write and this is a piece of a paper bag um, that I am trying to repurpose and make it into a cover now the cover I'm going to do is um, a collage cover collage elements sort of thing so we're going to work on the collage factor today and um, let me give you a brief look into the pages now there are going to be fold out pages like I have decided to make this as a title page and I'm going to put the you know sort of uh, I'm going to make it into a collage page and then I can have some uh, okay so I can have some stuff uh, written down at the back uh go on like this you know and so this is first page second page half page third page fourth page again half page fifth page uh this is also going to be a fold out kind of page so there are going to be some fold out pages and i think this has around 10 sheets of paper uh, and I am not worried if they're not lined up because in any case this is going to get bunched up so I'm going to work on the journal um, and the idea behind the journal is that it is going to be semi ready when I start using this for the month of May there is still enough time for me to get this prepped up and um, if I have the paper pages already prepped up it will motivate me more to go back into writing uh so if you have uh, gone through my very old sh videos which were awful uh, you know in the sense that not in the sense of content i would say but in the sense of filming and lighting and all sorts of stuff um uh, my journey started as i was primarily making journals for myself and then it turned into something else. So I want to go back to the roots and uh, start using the uh, journals that I create uh, for myself um, more and more and use them as planners, uh, brain dumps, list making stuff and all sorts of things. So I will be using a bunch of stuff, some from my shop, some which are not from my shop. And I will try to link all the, of them in the subsequent videos. But if you want to know something specific, then please tell me in the comments below. I will definitely try and uh, inform that. So uh, I'm feeling f super sleepy because uh, I am filming this pretty early in the morning. Not early, but in the morning hours. And I'm yet to have my cup of coffee so i will be back after i grab my cup of coffee and we'll start this coffee journal session so what i have here is just let me give you a brief glimpse this was a paper bag as i said 
and i am not worried this is not too thick neither it is too thin it is already recycled material as you can see and i am going to make this into a cover for my traveler's notebook and my traveler's notebook go into my leather traveler notebooks that i have and uh, i would like to uh sorry <laughs> i'm yawning away I would like to cover this part up, also this part up. So I'm going to use a lot of collage papers that are available in my shop and also some that I have been holding for a while from other shops which are already printed, some scraps and decorate the cover first. Then I'm going to stitch this journal. Okay, so that's going to be a process that is going to be followed. But I would also add some bits and pieces of laces and uh, stitch some elements, not all. Um, and you'll see how that goes so uh, even before I start working on the pages uh, just a second I will begin my work on the cover okay so I'm back with my coffee hope I don't fall asleep right away because I wake up very early in the morning and then after my you know morning chores are done I Today I didn't have the morning class. I have a class scheduled from early 5.30 in the morning. So usually those are the days I feel extremely sleepy and uh, I cannot go through without my cup of coffee. So uh, I just wanted to share that there will be some, um, you know, some videos on how I use journals and how I use my traveler's notebook. How I incorporate the collage sheets into my uh, journal journals that I use. So there are going to be some videos on that also because um, I also wanted to show. This is a, a traveler's notebook I use. Um, I have been journaling here on and off and uh, this is how I like to keep my things. So this is the collage cover. Yeah, I like to collage on the covers and then a little bit of uh, collage inside some elements just some layering it is what it is so uh, this is how it goes and uh, yeah so i uh, decorate the pre-decorate the pages a little bit i use up a lot of uh, die cuts that have been lying with me um unused and i want to use them as much as possible so i um I try to do that and uh, so this is the page and I have not decorated the back I'm not worried about that so this is another notebook that I have decorated on the cover I have decorated I have not done anything inside so probably I'll just show you how I, I, I will um, you know embellish or decorate this and my inserts are not totally junk journal style but um, they have little bits and pieces of uh, laces and clusters and things like that and you will see more of this in this one because that is the plan uh, because I want to take off my December um, insert from here and another planner insert that I have so that I can make room for this one um, so we'll work on this journal cover first and then I'm going to show you uh, once it dries I'm going to stitch around it and then I'm going to start working on the pages so that's going to be a little bit uh, tedious, long process, but that's okay. And I'm also going to be making some inserts for this personal sized uh, planner. This is my work planner, basically. And um, I do have an insert over here, but I would like to um, add another insert over here, which is going to be my catch all sort of thing. Uh, we'll see how that goes too. Uh, this is a different size, as I said. This is a personal size, so I'll have to make separate inserts for this. Um, and uh, right now, we're going to work on this cover. So the let's move this thing away. And so I want this to be on the front. Okay, so I want this to be on the front and get covered up. So what I want is, I had some torn pieces lying over here, which I can use. Okay, so this was a um, color sheet. This is, I think, from color sheet number three or four. I'm not sure. 
because they are very cohesive you can just go and check i'll put all the links below so what i have in mind is so what i have in mind is that i'm going to be putting this on the front okay and this is probably going to be pulled over at the back that's okay i can do that yeah so this is going to be like this and i'm going to add another piece from some stash i have like this music paper which i can add obviously add you know it would make sense so i'm going to cover it, the entire thing up and also create a collaged look so okay and then i can put something over here like a journal or memories or some sort of word that i want okay so let's start gluing things down but this one i'm definitely going to stain it a little bit um stain it a little bit means i'm not going to um sorry i'm not going to um use coffee uh sprays or anything of that sort i'm just going to use my um distress inks to stain it that's it so i hope everybody is doing well and i needed to set up a planner sort of thing for my may month of may sort of brain dump catch-all sort of thing so i thought of making something very collage because this would obviously inspire me to go back and um create more just a second let me uh, i have run out of glue sticks eventually and i need to get hold of some more like this one yeah i have this one i usually use the amazon basics glue stick they are perfect for the gluing um gluing paper not fabric but gluing paper is okay pretty sturdy and also gives you enough room to rectify your mistakes if you have you know move around a little bit uh, so here is this so I'm just going to lay this down make sure that it's okay but it doesn't have to be perfect you know you can do what you like yeah so i'm going to move these papers away okay so i'm just going to so i might lift this a little bit because I want this to go over here okay that's okay I'm not fussy about things like that um, and again as you can see I've not inked up this page because paper scrap because I totally forgot things happen things happen like this and I'm just going to lay this down like so and then you know work on this side so I'm just going to glue this down actually my intention is to cover this writing part you know that's the main idea but So I'm going to trim off the extra. Let me have a sip, otherwise. Mm. It feels so good. I usually prefer the coffee without milk. But today, I just went with this. So I'm going to glue this part now I'll definitely cover this part up so I'm not worried so this is how the cover is looking and once I finish um, decorating this primarily I will probably sew around it 
Now you don't have to sew around any cover of that sort if you are not comfortable with it. But personally, I like to do that. Over here, what I can do is I just want just a little teeny tiny bit of this part. Probably I'll not use something like this. So I have a lot of scraps that I can use. Um, let's see. So now I need to stain this a little bit. Okay. So what I can do is I have some labels. I think I gave these labels as freebies. I don't remember, honestly. <laughs> so I can just use one of these labels. And sometimes what happens, you know, I make stuff for myself. And then I see that it has turned out so well. I decide that, okay, I'm going to share this or I'm going to make it into a kit or something like that and then i totally get caught up into something else and forget about the existence of the things that i had planned so my brain just freezes up i know it sounds so weird but sometimes it is so weird so i can put sorry I can put this over here and obviously I'm going to layer it. I'll show you what I mean by that. I'm going to layer it also. Okay, so I just checked whether I'm in frame or not. Because, you know, me and not being in frame so common <laughs> and yeah i'm feeling so tired and it's just monday just imagine my weekend had been very very busy we had a new year and then there was a host of things that i needed to get done um so i'm feeling very tired but what to do i have to do what i have to do so another thing i'm going to be using are some labels that i have uh, overlapping labels so let me go through my stash and see uh, sorry for the arm reaching out something toppled over I don't know like I might use something for my sh I can use something like this okay so I made these um, you know I made these uh, accent words to go in a kit in some collage building kit um, collage fodder you can say so if anybody is interested, then I will release the kit. It's nearly done. It just needs a little bit of brushing up. So what I'll do is I'll just put it here. And uh, I thought that I would release it. And then, you know, I get caught. I got caught up in some other projects. So, I'm, so it says access denied. <laughs> Funny. Okay, I also have some numbers. These are not from my shop. I don't remember the name of the shop. Honestly, I just had them lying because I was working on my custom order and it's done. I will probably film a flip through because I'm going to shipping it tomorrow. Uh, and tomorrow is going to be another busy day. Tomorrow is when I 
have my day off from work um apart from sundays um so and on tuesdays uh, on saturdays i do double shift sort of thing so i deserve that sunday break <laughs> and so tuesday is basically my shipping day if i have to go to the post office if my husband does that then i'm so thankful to him that he chooses to do that sometimes okay now we are going to cover the back side um even though it sounds like that but it has equal importance because we can cover it like this okay so i'm going to take this off um take this bit off cover this so i basically need to cover this triangular part sort of thing and i will do something like this because this was another portion left over from the other collage sheet that i'm using i think it is collage sheet number 3 uh, or 4 i have no track of that and these are the rest of the papers so i can um so what i'll do is i'll just measure this out I'll just show you so i'll just measure this out and probably i'm going to put this like so okay. so i'm going to tear this I have printed this on a thicker paper. You can, if you, if you are planning on using them for layering and collaging, then you can print them on a thinner quality paper. But you know the image comes out well if you are um, using a good quality paper. That goes without saying. Anyways, so I'm going to tear this part also because I want the bird. I don't want. this part so i'm going to cover this and i could have just covered it with a single sheet of paper <laughs> but i wanted to give it a more collaged look and um, that's why i'm doing this and i can cut this up like this okay so it's going to be like this and this part might look a little bit weird but i'm going to cover it up by adding this can i add this okay don't like it Okay, let's start the gluing process and we'll see how it goes. So there are going to be some changes as usual, you know, when I plan something, I never 80% of the time I don't uh, lay out the things as I had planned before, so there might be changes or i might go with this plan old oh my god my dauber fell off okay i need to change this uh i had one over here and i think i'm going to use that i always keep one close by in case I need them huh. so I can use it over here and then I can just tuck this over here Okay so I'm going to tear this part off 
if it's not be requiring this. So these collage sheets are meant uh, for various purposes, like you can use them as they are. You can fussy cut the images out and uh, use them as you like, okay. Or I want to put something over here, so probably uh, I can put something like this. Okay, so I'm going to put this down because you won't be able to see much of it as it is because it's 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 a thin strip, but it was bugging me. I don't want that to look bare, but it doesn't mean that I'm going to cover everything up. There will be hints of color and there will be hints of background showing through um, because that's I like craft colored uh, covers. Now, why I like them, I'll tell you, especially for collages, because they take any kind of collage well. Um, your whatever collage you do stand out. Um, and I'm going to put this over here. Yeah, so whatever collage you do will stand out. And that's an advantage. So I'm going to put this over here. But for that, I'm just going to glue this down. So, how is everybody doing? I hope you seriously use the junk journals or the journals that you're creating. Because what's the point in creating if you are not using them? Uh, I like to journal in this fashion, but I also use junk journals uh, in that way. And sometimes, I think I did show a video where I, um, you know, I did show how I use my junk journals. Now, I don't use my junk journals every day, um, but um, I like to use the large journals more, you can say. Uh, that's much more me um, and that's how I like things to be so and this is going to go on the side probably no so I'm not going to put this on the cup top part because it's looking very busy and I might put something else like some very neutral kind of ephemera piece or neutral paper um, I did have some neutral papers from the French papery papers or even you can use um, the papers from uh, the garden spring garden collage sheets so I have these uh, sheets, these are from French papery and I'll probably use those. Okay, I do have another scrap. Why not I use this scrap? Uh, I think I'm going to use this. Good. Because scraps are important. Scraps are great. And I'll probably use something like this. Yeah, so that's great. Uh, good thinking at the right moment otherwise i would have had to cover that part off so i'm using this this is again some tearing some distressed edges so this is something i'm going to use over here I think I'm going to go with this. So I'm going to take this edge off. And today I'm going to 
try and take things a little bit on the easier side but i mean i'm going to plan on working on some more journals um i don't know when will i start i have them all figured out in my head <laughs> but that's not good enough i had printed something else on the back and this is good you know like you're using up that's important recycling and repurposing so i'm going to add more glue on this part and then i'm going to put this down so the back is looking like this i know it looks very not so put together but once i stitch you will see and i'm going to add some pockets on the inside also okay so this is the this is the back and this is the front and over here i'm going to be adding another label that i have in my stash uh, so this is something that i have created but i have never listed these items you know i don't know why it just never happened so i might put this uh not sure so i'll put this over here see i don't ink everything up i do like granginas by the way but uh, i like them in certain projects when i have certain things in my mind i visualize that i'm going to use it in this way then only i like that grunge otherwise i don't so I'm going to put this label down and I'm not going to use this and this is wonky and that is bugging me yeah okay so this is how it's looking uh, okay so now I'm going to add some pockets inside and uh, I'll probably use uh, some neutral papers as I said and I'm going to be using now I want the pockets to be pretty sturdy because I have this habit of stuffing everything in so what I'll do is I have some book pages or some uh, some pages that I can repurpose like these obviously I will not be using them as they are uh, they're going to be my collage bases so what I'll do is I'll uh, layer the page uh, whatever page I want as pocket on this and then cut this out and show you what I mean by this so over here what I want is uh, I want a large pocket uh, like this because uh, then it is going to sort of cover up this dented part mm, let me close my ink pad it's trying out otherwise okay so i can use that so it's going to be like a big pocket sort of thing uh, let's get going and see how that goes so i'm going to mark that a little tiny bit okay and i'm going to cut this out and when i'm creating pocket on a uh, using thinner paper i usually do this because i like the pockets to be a little bit thick and sturdy and what I'll do is I'll just figure out how much I need to take off. Like I want this to be there. But also I need a little bit taken off. So I can just take this off. So this is the only portion I'm going to take. 
now that is only because I want to cover up this dented part that I have and on this side I want a long side pocket because I want to cover up this dent so that is only because I'm using a paper bag um, to create this these kind of covers uh, they are very sturdy if you want to cover them up entirely you will have no issues but since I am not trying to cover these up entirely um, so I'm going to use this kind of a method so this is just going to be a side tuck you can say um, just so that the fold line is hidden and this is going to be the back um, thingy and um, it has not glued very well as you can see I'm going to pull this out <laughs> as I usually do and I'm going to glue this see how the glue has not this also depends on the paper that you're gluing on to like maybe this paper the one that I have used uh, sometimes recycled papers do give trouble but hopefully they will work out so over here what I have is two pockets that I will cover with some kind of paper and embellish them probably uh, I'm not sure right now so what I'll do is I'll uh, cover these up with some neutral kind of paper uh, that is using the French papery so this is available in my shop and uh, I really love these papers because um, they are very suitable for backgrounds very suitable for printing on the back of a journal page and okay so I'll just create some pockets from here and why I'm keeping it this neutral is because I can always go back and use this as a backdrop to add some elements like a bird or a floral element or anything of that sort so I'm just going to cover these up okay and I'm not going to apply too much of glue because I know I'm going to stitch this and after I have stitched everything I'll give you an update on how things are going so this is shorter on the shorter side so i have to do it this way should have been careful anyways it's better late than never so i have this done and i want to cut this out uh this is just going to be a very small tuck sort of thing you can say not an entire full-fledged pocket that's okay because all my journals have pockets because as I said I have this habit of filling them in so I can obviously layer things up like if I want I can I'll show you what I mean so if I want I can just take okay so I can embellish this like this so in that case what I'll do is I'll just I'll just give it a little bit of a shape so that it doesn't look odd okay and I can glue this up I'm still using a single colored sheet and doing so much because uh, this will also help you to you know um, you don't need to buy all the colored sheets but uh, if you are if you have planned your layouts well or if you plan on using what portion on which side then you can make it uh, stretch also you don't have to so this is going to be our puppet over here 
as you can see okay and we're going to work on this side so regarding labels and stuff that i can always go back and add later so i'm not worried about that so i'm going to add this over here i'm just going to glue this down and they're going to be stitched so no worries about that you can skip the sewing process um in that case do not use a glue stick i would recommend that you use a wet glue or a pda glue or fabri-tac fabri-fix whatever is available to you or you prefer so this is how it's looking and i'm just going to take this off This bit left which I can use sometimes sometime later on so I'm going to use this and this is going to be a substantial pocket as you can see I can put any collage element over here that I like I'll do that I'll see if I have anything left that I can use so this was the set that this is I think collage set number four hmm. I guess it is, <laughs> if I'm not mistaken. But this ba ba birdie is a little bit bigger than I would like to have on this pocket. But I can always use something like this, you know. So, let's see what happens. So, I can do... Uh, what I can do is I can just tear from this part... I don't want the butterflies right away because I can use them as fussy cut elements and I'm going to be using this okay so this is collage set number four I think I think I'm not sure yet uh, actually I have come out with five collage sheets all of them are three page kits but um, they are they are extremely useful at least to me i felt that when i'm designing something like this because i love to do collages you know you people know that and i want this to show through a little bit okay so let's do it i'm just going to put a little bit of glue and then i'm going to come back and see what it needs what more does it need? I want this. Okay. And I, since I have this very deep love for collages, whenever I'm designing something for collage itself, I try to keep in mind the usefulness of that paper. Because if I don't do that, then it defeats the purpose of creating something, isn't it? Um why would you like to buy something which will only have single use i think this will look nice so i'm going to tear off this part and i'm just going to add that i know it looks odd but we'll see what happens so we can add this over here also or i want this over here basically to balance out to balance out what we have down below as a layering element so it's going to be like this okay I'm going to turn this and trust me if you are planning on sewing once you sew they will look so well put together um, but that, that doesn't mean you can't do something without sewing. You can do it. It is okay. Like you don't have to sew this. I could have skipped the sewing part because I'm doing it for myself. But I like the sewn in look. And um, so this is how the cover inside pockets are looking. And I'll stitch around it. I will stitch the journal in and I'll 
uh, I will probably not stitch the journal right away because I would like to do some collage pages and um, also add some tabs fabric tabs um, and then I will stitch the journal in so that's going to take a while so uh, we'll work on the pages one by one and we'll see what we can do I come up with a few ideas that I have in my head for now this is going to be the end so if you have watched this till the end um, you must have liked it if you have liked it then please hit the like button it would mean a lot to me and if you have not yet subscribed to my channel then please 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 think of subscribing and uh, if you are already subscribed to my channel then thank you so much and if you want to support me by donating through buy me a coffee or Kofi, uh, there are links given below you can do so but you don't have to uh, if you want to follow me on instagram my instagram account handle is linked below i also have a facebook group which is called bluegrass journals um, where i need to be more active <laughs> i'm sorry for that and uh, you can join that group also there are lots of freebies that i have given and more are on the way so you can join in there also so thank you everybody for watching this. Bye. Have a great day.